What's up YouTube? It is your boy Henry back in the cut again. It's been a minute since I filmed the video, but since it's been a minute for y'all, I wanted to show some of the good content. I got my friend over here. I, we, where are we at right now, my guy? Uncle Vintage, 33 Kenton Avenue, downtown Toronto. There's a lot of amazing stuff here, a lot of vintage grails, real authentic vintage, and they check for you because, you know, how can you tell when something's like real vintage versus fake vintage? Uh, I mean, mostly it's like licensing, you know? You can tell by the quality of the shirt. Mm -hmm. It's like just the manufacturing on it. Newer stuff has like a cheaper feel. It's kind of something that you like, as you get more experience with it, you just get a feel for it. Okay, okay. Now what are like, now what are pieces you've got here? You're just looking at it's like, ooh, it's gonna go on the rack. And you're just like, let me get this before everyone else can have this. Well, I mean, if I'm getting it before it goes on the rack, it's not out here. But okay, um, okay, yeah, sure. no, I always like, I like, I see so much stuff that I'm very desensitized, I think, to a lot of stuff. So, um, yeah, I just let things go out. If I really like it, I'll give it a few days. It saves me the money. Someone else can get some sick shit. But uh, right now in the store, there's uh, a Twin Peaks. There's a Twin Peaks shirt here. It's just absolutely nuts. We got a share shirt that I'm fucking with. Um, yeah, there's a couple things. I mean, there's so much good shit. The Martin Luther King shirt we got, it's in the front window. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of good shit. I'm always seeing new stuff though. Like I'm, I try to stay away from mine too much, even though I work here. I just kind of go for my essentials these days. I feel that, I feel that. Yeah. For me with vintage, it was like, you know how some people have this preconception of buying thrifted clothes and stuff like that, yeah, yeah. Uh, whatever. So it took my friends last year, they took me to um, Value Village and that's where it started for me. Yeah. But I'll be honest. A lot of the resellers and everyone's hitting up Value Village and all the oh, yeah, stores. Yeah, it's picked the shit. So it's like, damn, all the good stuff is gone. Value Village, I think, is just like, again, essentials. You go there just to find like a good pair of fitted jeans, something like that. You always go through because maybe you'll find a gem. At the end of the day, that stuff, like, the vintage game is so popped off now that uh, you'll rarely find shit there. And now that Value Village has the boutiques and shit, you're not going to really, like, they pull the nice stuff to sell there. So. Um, it's definitely changed a lot, but for the better. I always, I'm always happy to see people more interested in vintage. You know, I helps the environment. Shit, I'll so. be honest, I don't really go to the mall and stuff anymore. There isn't that I started doing that. Yeah. I just come to you guys or other stores that I go to because I feel like it's better for the environment. But also, too, I find that it's an original look. Yeah. And I'll tell you the reason why I don't really shop at the mall and stuff. I'm not afraid. But yeah, so the reason why I kind of stop because a dude has the same fit as me, just in different colors. Yeah, there you and go. I was like, Man, never that shit again. And the thing is, what's cool is if someone has the same vintage shirt as you, you're kind of fired See, up. See, vintage shirt is a little different. Yeah, yeah. You well, if you got the same H&M fit, I'm going to be a little more. You yeah. know what I mean, everyone's going to have it, you know? It's like that's where you're shopping at. But, I mean, there's nothing wrong. I'm not one to shame mall buyers, you know? Just like, they have essentials again. Just like, if you're not into clothes, that's obviously where you're going to go. But, uh, I hope that you can expose people to get more into the vintage game. For sure. And how would you get someone to the vintage game who's a little skeptical? But what are like entry pieces you would like, you know? I have an easy answer. Um, what really got me into like getting more into vintage, got me into the kind of collecting side of it, is say like, this is a Legend of Zelda shirt. You see? Oh, the gimbal doesn't go. No, no, that's cool. So you can do this. Yeah, so this is like a Legend of Zelda shirt. I grew up loving Legend of Zelda. And I just simply went like, you can just go on eBay and just search up like vintage Pingu shirt, vintage Rolling Stone shirt, you know, just get shit that you like and then like because it represents something that you appreciate. And that's kind of the best way, the best way to start. Just get shit that like means something to you, whether it's something from your childhood, whether it's just a band you're currently liking. It's an easy way to do it, you know? And it's a conversation starter too. Majority Majority nice. Twilight Princess, uh, got this little 70s trucker hat. Um, I got some orange tab, black Levi Jorts, and uh, I'm wearing. Um, very in trend right now. I got the Vomero fives in a oh, he's gonna, I was gonna, wheat <laughs> colorway. I saw those and I was like, yeah. What size are you, bro? Like 10 and a half? 12. Yeah. 12? Yeah. Yeah. I'm 13. Yeah, yeah. Not quite. <laughs> we're on the store and then, you know what I'm saying? And we're gonna go to other places, but bro, thanks a lot, man. Of course, man. I really appreciate you. Now, gonna head for the tour. So, yeah, this is around the store and everything, bro. They got the craziest tees, everything they got. Like, this is what y'all understand, bro. I'm just here, bro. This. They got all these tees. Jackets. Tees. A whole bunch of the good stuff he was talking about up here. 
This gotta be my personal collection one day. This is hard. You see these ones, see the graphic? This is real vintage out here. Now this really caught my eye. I really like this piece a lot. Something I wear with some pants. The denim jackets are insane here. The washes on these are insane. Denim jackets. Or on the store. Try to find some cool pieces. This is what they get. Since it's not in season right now, the bar season jacket's gonna be here. Right. Get a shot of everything here. Yeah, so we good with side of side to break down my fit right now. It's got a Detroit's 2005 fitted, you know what I'm saying? From the stadium joint, vintage NASCAR, vintage race car tee. A vest from EPTM, vintage work pants. And then what do we got here? We got the shadow backboard fives good feet so I gotta clean them again I stepped in something so it kind of messed the shoes up but it's okay we'll make it work and yeah man that's pretty much my fit right now it's going crazy also I bought a pair of bought a pair of jorts with Levi's joints right yeah a little jorts very in trend yeah everyone's asking for them can't go wrong couldn't sell these for the life of me last summer now <laughs> people are begging me to get more in but uh yeah so a lot of the time, I always recommend bringing measuring tape, especially if you're going to the thrift, like mm -hmm. Valley Village or something. Yeah. Because you know it says 38 here, but uh, it's not a 38. I measure everything before I put it on the floor, and uh, I mean it's pretty straightforward. But 20 inches, it's a 40. So good thing you measure, because you know, like especially because I know after the pandemic they weren't letting you try shit on. Valley Diligence and shit, so having that measuring tape, knowing your measurements, you know, it makes life way easier, especially when you're buying stuff online, which with Depop and all that, it's very popular these days. Yeah. All right, so Here you are, my now man. that we did secure some drip, let people know where to go, like you did in the intro and stuff like that. Uncle Vintage at 33 Kensington Avenue, downtown Toronto. Give us a follow on Instagram at Uncle Vintage underscore. Feel free to reach out. We have a website. You see anything on the story? I'll post on the website for you. Shipping anywhere in the world. So good. All right, well, thank you very much, my man. Have a good one. Yeah.